That should be... That should be everything. Let's play some more story of scenes of the pioneers all the time. Before we get into it, flashing warning, because as far as I'm aware, the game is still kind of fucked. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good game, don't get me wrong. And it may be completely because of, like, my weird capture setup that I have with, you know, splitters and, and the other things. Uh, switches and capture cards and all kinds of crap plugged in. Two different... Three different? Two different. Two different resolutions of monitors. Maybe three. I don't even know at this point. <laughs> like, there's a lot of stuff plugged in. So there's there's a decent chance that, yeah, it's fine. Nope. Uh, <laughs> and it's just the weird capture setup I have. But as you can see with the bottom of the screen glitching out, that's, uh, it only does it in this game. I don't know what it is. I haven't tried playing it, like, just directly plugged into the TV, but, like, even if I take my monitor, because right now I'm playing through OBS, right? But if I take my monitor and put it on HDMI mode, it's... Is it still doing the same thing? I guess I can't tell because I overscan. But... Because, <laughs> like, it just so happens that the bottom of the screen is cut off for me on my monitor, like, by itself. Anyways, point is, I don't know why this game does this. But as far as I can tell, there's nothing I can do about it. I don't think, like... I don't know how changing any settings here would possibly fix that. Because, like... Okay, so what if we change the color space? Nope, that doesn't do shit. Like, I only have so many options, you know? Color range limited. Doesn't do anything. Default. Nothing. Full. Okay. Buffering. Enable doesn't do shit disable nothing like i don't know what it is turn off hardware decoding nope so it just kind of is what it is sadly and uh i just kind of had to deal with it <laughs> like I, said, I think i think it's the capture card but i don't know why it would only be like this game that does it it's weird, but whatever. Thankfully, it's not all the time. That's the other thing that's weird. You would think if it was like a capture card problem, it would do it constantly, but it's only on certain screens. on, And it's consistently on those same screens that it does it. It's really weird. It could just be like playing a PS4 game on a PS5 problem or something too. I really don't know. I also don't remember what the heck we were doing at the end of last stream. Other than, you know, just normal farming stuff. Um, I know... Okay, I do remember that we're trying to unlock the cow area. I remember that's a thing that we're trying to do. Um, because, like, well, we already unlocked the area, but we're trying to get the stuff to unlock cows. I remember that. Oh, upgrading our tools! That's what it was. Okay, 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 good. I'm glad I remembered that. I wanted to upgrade... I don't remember what tools. We got access to sprinklers, so I feel like watering can. We should skip fishing pole was definitely one of them. And then I think our axe was the other one because there's some hard to chop trees due to the whole like being the next area of the game thing or whatever. That's completely full, can't do anything there. Okay, so yeah, that's what we need to do. In the meantime, though, we should probably uh, water our crops and stuff, eh? So we can put away that for now. I'm gonna keep out the hammer because I saw there were some rocks that we're gonna be wanting to get rid of, I'm sure. And uh, I guess that's it that we want to keep out, I think. And then, well, the bucket for scoop. So we can scoop. Do we want to... Okay, sure. Why do I have five iron ore? Not even iron bars, just iron ore. That's weird. Oh, it takes five. I think I meant to smelt those into bars, but my dumbass forgot that you need five, not three. So I actually need to get three more iron ore real quick, too. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and start crafting the one, because that takes a lot of time. Pull out the hammer and start smashing some rocky boys. Are any of these iron-bearing ores? No. I should probably, like, do the crops first. That would make a lot more sense, but screw it. The mines are right here, and we only need, what, three iron ore? Like, hopefully we can just find it quick and be done with it. It shouldn't take too long. Oh, look at that. We should get more than enough from this wall right here. Bruh, how did we get so unlucky to only get two from the wall? The wall's supposed to be, like, the good place to get iron ore. Oh my god, is it, like, a bad luck day? Is luck a thing in this game? I have no idea if it is or not. Like, luck days. Obviously, there is luck in the game, but... Can you have good luck, bad luck? Here we go. Um, well, shoot, I don't have my hoe out and I'm lazy. Okay, well, guess we gotta pull the hoe out. Get you out here. Oh, damn it, dude. Come on, that should have been the next tile. Does that give us everything we need? That gives us everything we need. So let's just leave now. Get the iron ore and then the iron ore smelting. And then get the, the water cropped, <laughs> the crops watered. And then go do the other thing. What's what's the other thing? Upgrade. Go do the upgrades. And then I think we'll have enough to also get our pet today. I think that was the other thing I was wanting to maybe do. Why you got hose? Because I got to, like, till the soil and stuff, man. Am I supposed to use my hands for that? I don't... I don't understand. What do you expect me to do? I'm really hoping that the fishing pole upgrade lets us catch some new types of fish, too. Because I really like fishing, and fishing in this game isn't terrible. But, like, so far, all of the fish that we've caught, besides the sparkling fish, are kind of junk. I'm really hoping we can get some better ones. I'd also really like to chop all these trees down. These, like... It's good that they regrow since there's a crafting system, right? So you need, like, a constant supply of resources. Trees and stones and other miscellaneous things. But, like, it would be really nice if they didn't pop up in front of my crops all the time. <laughs> like, like, in the way. That's all, you know? That's all I'm asking for. So instead, I gotta, like, chop these bitches down deal with all that is a rough life uh, bum, bum, bum. let's go ahead and get rid of some stuff so my inventory is filled with crap food does not go in here I'll take these out so hopefully I remember they're a thing oregano no stone can go in there though I think I can put you away now for sure and the watering can. I don't need you anymore. Actually, I'm going to put everything away. Because I'm going to want to rearrange some stuff. I want it in, like, the same order that it comes out of the tool bag. That way it's more or less always in the same order. There we go. And that should be everything we need to clean up the farm a little bit. Sickle. Cut down the fully grown trees. Might as well get as much stuff out of them as we possibly can. I wonder if the upgrade's instant. Because if the upgrade's instant, then I guess we should probably do that first, right? Alright, I'm gonna run up there and see. Do we still have the logs, or do we drop them off? The t lumber, rather. We drop them off. We're a little... a little dumb. Okay, I would like to... take six of these, please. Uh, it's not done yet. Okay, we can probably run up there and run all the way back down before it's done. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to do that. Go do the thing, come back, and then do the other thing. Because if it's instant. Because if it's instant, then we can like use the upgraded axe to hopefully chop down the trees a little bit more easily. Uh, charge up cut any surrounding wood with a single strike. Confirm. Upgrade to Iron Axe. Awesome. Okay, cool. So it is instant. 
That's what I was hoping for. Now, the iron fishing rod. Yeah, okay, we just need one more iron bar, which we are currently working on. So that's good. And that does mean we'll be left enough money to go to the pet shop, which I think is this one. Yes, well, animal shop, pet shop, whatever. Go here, buy a pet. I would like to buy this, please. Um, Noodle, what are we naming our cat? You got a minute to come up with a name, and then I'm just gonna, <laughs> I don't know, put in something random. <laughs> uh. mm. Mm -mm -mm. I think Noodle has abandoned us, which well, she's probably busy doing something. Um... Uh, Mary. Uh, with an I-E. Marie. Marie? Marie. Marie the Maine Coon. There you go. Confirm name. It's too late. I was gonna let you name it, but <laughs> you got here too late. So we bought a cat. It's ours now. <laughs> yes, I have a Maine Coon. And let's give you this pink cat flower. I think you'll like it. Thank you for the gift. You're welcome, dude. Ooh. And you, a uh, random lady who I honestly forget your name. Hello to you as well. Uh, I forgot that was even a Disney cat, to be honest. There it is. Where'd it go? Here it is. We'll give it a pet. We also have a leash so we can take it on walks, but like, not really that worried about that right now. Anyways, we busy chopping. Hopefully it takes, like, less hits. Oh, okay. I wonder if charging it takes more stamina or if it's the same. I think it's doing... I think it's chop, chopping down faster, right? I'm pretty sure it is. I can't remember exactly how long it took before, but, like... It's an upgraded axe. It's got to be faster. The cool thing, though, is this, I guess, right? Because we can, like... Uh, we can't do all three of them at the same time, but... Oh, charging it does seem to do more damage, because that took down two trees at once. Or, it took down the trees in two hits instead of in three. But I wonder, like, does it use more stamina, or is it the same? That part, I still don't know. Where are... Are these the new trees? Can we get another one in here? I can't tell. There's too much stuff here to be able to see, like, what's going on. I guess it doesn't really matter. Just just chop these bitches. I think these are the new hardwood, harder wood trees. Yeah, they gotta be with how long it's taken to chop them down. Solid logs. Let's go, dude. That is so much freaking better than it was before. So now, after we get, like, some of these things collected, we just need to start getting some silver ore. And then we can do the, uh, the barn here for the cow, too. Kind of sucks, though. Like, I'm going to end up going through all my energy. We might have to take a couple baths today or something. Because I definitely want to try out the fishing rod after getting it. Son of a bitch, dude. Chop the tree, please. Bro, that honestly went so much faster, though. That was good. That was really good. Do we need logs or timber for this? Lumber, whatever. We need solid lumber. So we need to take the solid logs that we just got and turn it into some lumber. Bro, how, we just hit the rock. How did we miss the second swing? I didn't think I hit anything. Uh, okay, I would like to cancel what we're making. Is it possible to do that? No, I guess since it's in there, it's just in there. If we clear it away, it would probably cancel it, but it's fine. We'll leave it for now. Just dump everything in here. Uh, dump one of those, all of those, that, that. The grass, of course. We'll keep the iron ingots because we need to go get the fishing pole now. 
We have like nothing to sell today, do we? We're gonna be broke broke. Oh well, it's fine. Who needs money anyways? Ugh. So excited to get the new fishing pole, dude. Let's go. I really hope that it unlocks new fishing stuff for us. I'm really, really hoping. And then after that, it's probably time for the new backpack. I think will be the next thing I want to upgrade. I mean, we should probably get the hammer upgraded relatively soon, too. If we make sprinklers, I don't think we really need to worry that much about our watering can. Having more capacity in the watering can would be nice, but I don't think it's the end of the world either way. I'm going to do one round of fishing with this thing. Does it cast farther? Can't tell if it does or not. I'm assuming... Okay, so it does look like the line can still break. Even though it said something about like not being able to break. Sardine. So that's the same as what we've caught before, at least. That's not anything new. But we could have just gotten like unlucky, right? Because I, I would assume the higher level rods could catch new fish but also still catch all of the fish that they could before, right? I wouldn't think it would just not let you catch the easy stuff. Can we feed our cat? Is that a thing you can do? Honestly, don't know. It's only 39 gold. I feel like it's not even worth shipping that fish. You, come here. Can we like, we can pet you, but we can't do anything else with you, huh? Well, pet you, and then we should also be able to, like, do the other thing. The whole walking you thing with the leash. I wonder if the fridge is infinite. Probably not, based on the fact that there's, like, fridge one is a name. So we probably just have to get more fridges. Is there any new food we can make? We should probably go grab the mayonnaise. Vegetable juice, cooked white rice. How's that? Oh, it's other. I thought this was like a drink category, and then I saw cooked white rice, and I was very confused. Um, we need a mushroom to make mixed salad. I guess, I don't know, shellfish soup. Why not, man? I still don't think the shellfish soup actually does anything for us, but we'll cook it anyways. And then we'll follow the soup up with a grilled fish, a grilled sardine, let's go. And then, we don't have anything for dessert, but we can have some vegetable juice afterwards. Some radish and potato juice, <laughs> yum. <laughs> that should be delicious, dude. All right, let's, let's eat all this stuff. Eat some soup. Uh, and then have some juice. And then a grilled fish. And that, yeah, made us full, okay. Take a bath for a half hour. That'll restore another heart, I think. I think it's one heart for that. It's not a ton, I know that much. It's what, four o'clock? We have time to do one more bath. Yeah, take a bath again. We don't need to go to any more shops or anything like that. We're just planning on fishing at this point, and that's pretty much it until is bedtime in game. I still don't understand. I should have looked that up, what the hearts like turning orange means. We'll keep the flower to gift to somebody. And if we're just fishing, then we don't need any of this other stuff. It's just gonna get in our way. Alright, let's fish. Do we get anything new? Or maybe we get more sparkly fish. Maybe we just get more of the good fish? I don't know what fish are available what season, what time of day. I don't know if that's even a thing in this game. Like it is in Stardew Valley and I'm sure in other games. Like time of day and weather fish. Well, the shrimp certainly isn't new. I think that's a new quality of fish, though. Or new quality of the shrimp. The four-star. I think the most we've ever gotten before has been, like, two or three. Okay, this fish is significantly harder to catch, it seems like. And it's another shrimp. Cool. <laughs> Let's try 
fishing down here. We do seem to get better fish at the, the second farm area. Or the river. I don't think we've done a ton of river fishing. We've definitely done some, but I don't think we've done a ton of it. Maybe since we're fishing from this side of the shore, we'll get, I don't know, better fish for some reason. The cat better not fuck with our chickens. I didn't think about that. I'm sure it won't. I'm sure it's fine. Hey, freshwater prawn. That's new, I'm pretty sure. So that's going to be a donate. The only problem is we haven't done a ton. Oh, that's a two, two, two exclamation mark thing. That could be a shiny fish. That could be something new. Ooh. He's being a bitch, whatever he is. Sparkling fish. Okay, so not new, but at least it's like good money. Unlock the recipe for the net. Nets can be left overnight on shallow rocky shores. When you come back for it the next day, you can collect the fish caught inside. That's pretty cool, actually. How do we craft a net? Two rope, two lumber? Just regular? No, solid lumber. Oh, speaking of solid lumber, we need to swap this out for making some solid lumber. We have a bunch of rope. Uh, I'm assuming it's just regular rope that we need. Yeah, make as many as you can. So we're gonna need them all anyways. That's gonna take some time, so I don't think we're gonna get the net tonight. I mean, maybe. It'd be pretty cool. I wanna, I wanna see what kind of fishy boys the net can catch. I'm wondering if it's just gonna be like more of the same stuff or if we'll get something new. Dace, that's old. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to be giving us new fish. And honestly, it doesn't even seem like it's any easier to catch the fish. So I'm not sure what the iron thing he really did for us, the upgrade. I thought like we would have more health or, I don't know, just something. Is this a sparkly boy? It was a two fish, I know that much. Oh my god, dude. Okay, it's gotta be blue for us to finish. Another sparkly boy. Ooh, a five-star one. That's our first five-star fish. So maybe it just increases the quality of the fish we catch? Although we've also been leveling up, so that could just be because of that. See, one of the things I really like about Stardew Valley's fishing minigame is that it gets easier the, the more you play it, the more leveled up it is. Because your bar gets larger, and of course the larger the bar is, the easier it is to catch the fish, because it's easier to catch them, or keep them in the, the blue area, green area, whatever it is, of the little bar that's hopping around. I'm not sure it's actually getting any easier here. Another yellow perch. Let's go back down to the ocean for a bit. Try some more ocean fishing. What do we need to fix this? 20 solid logs. Just logs. We might do that soon. Because that would be a free... I don't know if it's a free mushroom every day, every couple of days, but it's free mushrooms, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we have to, like, seed it or anything. And we could use that mushroom to make some new food, which would be cool. It actually seems like it might be harder. Oh, milkfish. Okay, so it's another new fish. Maybe I'm just being, like, too impatient with it, man. And it the, the upgrade on the fishing rod was worth it. So we have caught new two new fish. I guess I just expected it to get, like, much easier to catch the fish, too. And the fact that it hasn't is what's kind of, like, throwing me. Spear squid... I don't remember if we've caught one of you before or not. I'm going to put you in the donate pile, just in case. I feel like we might have caught a squid before, but I've also been watching a lot of people play Stardew Valley, so I might just be thinking of, you know, that and seeing somebody else catch it in one of those games. 
horse mackerel? Have we got a horse mackerel before? <laughs> That's another one I don't remember, man. See, right here, there's so much extra room where it says, like, held and quality. It should have, like, donated with a check mark or something. And shipped and number caught. Something along those lines would be would be really freaking helpful for a game that has that sort of completion tracking. If there if there was no if there was no museum and you didn't have to worry about donating like one of every type of fish, then I, it really wouldn't matter. I wouldn't care. But since that is one of the goals of the game, it just seems very weird that there's nothing here quality of life wise that helps you complete that goal. Another spear squid, okay. Spear squid are either very common or we've been very lucky. I hope they sell for a decent amount of money. Probably won't as much as the sparkly boys. 500 I feel like is a lot for a fish. But maybe we could get like around 100 for it. I'd be pretty happy with 100, that's all I'm saying. Another milkfish, good. We can see how much that's worth, too. Uh, I don't think it's gonna matter, but... Now, they did mention, like, being able to fish anywhere there's water. <laughs> or just about anywhere there's water, so... Let's try fishing in this little tiny puddle that I'm pretty sure the game wants us to empty. It is working, surprisingly. We could use the bucket to try to empty it. It's a small puddle, and apparently there's treasure at the bottom of it. I'm just wondering, should we, like, upgrade the the bucket before we try to start emptying puddles, or do we think it's going to be okay? Another days. That's fine. Ooh, and our backpack's full. Um, okay, never mind. I was going to say we can go ahead and start trying to empty that with the, with the thingy. But, never mind, I guess. We'll just keep fishing. One or two more. I think we sleep in if we stay up too late. So we probably should actually be heading to bed, but like, we only have two hearts left, man. I wanna... I wanna get through the hearts. We cooked all that food, we did all that bathing. I wanna make the most of it. Just hopefully we don't get anything new. That <laughs> means we can't hold anything. Alright, well... Let's go throw some stuff in a bin. And then hopefully that stays there till tomorrow. At some point we should probably Ooh, 550 for the sparkling fish. Nice. 750 for that one. Like, we should probably pick a number and anything that's worth less than that. Okay, the spear squid ain't worth anything. We should probably just keep for food. I think anything less than like 75 gold. So like this dace and these squid. Or maybe just anything less than 50. We'll do anything less than 50. We'll just keep for for cooking. These ones are for potentially donating. So we'll keep those for now too. One solid lumber we've gotten so far. Nice. I Eminem mean, has a new album coming out this summer. No shit. I didn't know that. I didn't even know he was working on new music right now, to be honest with you. I'm sure I'll give it a listen whenever it releases, though. Do we... yeah, pick up. Have we... I feel like... I'm pretty sure we've caught giant tiger shrimp before. I don't think that's new. The Death of Slim Shady. Interesting name. Worth 84, you're getting sold. So that's almost two grand from today's fishing. It was, it's probably worth it. The food that we cooked wasn't worth that much money. Okay, I'm gonna put you the donate thing, or like gift thing at the bottom bottom actually. Hit the hay and call it a day, yes, please. Please and thank game. Um, 
two. Noodle, this lid you gave me is not clean. I'm really hoping I didn't like shake up my drink at all. I don't I don't know, but yeah, no, it is <laughs> it is not clean at all. Uh anyways, okay. That's <laughs> oop. Put it out of the dishwasher washer. <laughs> nice. Well, the dishwasher washer didn't do a very good job. Oh, what are you things? No, it's fine. I don't really need the lid. I'm just a little grossed out by it being on my drink. That's all. Are those supposed to be harvest sprites? What is this area? We've never seen this area before. Oh, oh, oh to you? Hello, naked egg people. Why, why are they seriously like naked egg people? Your name's Stream. Hi there, it's nice to meet you. This is where we Earth Sprites, so not nature sprites, Earth Sprites all meet up. There's lots more follower sprites hopping around these days. Is that you're doing? Oh, those are the little things that we keep digging up. They're little follower sprites or whatever. Have you seen an odd little creature pop out of nowhere while pioneering or working the farm? Those are actually follower sprites. Yeah. A manager sprite? What the hell? I have a request for you. If you ever need the aid of the sprites, just let me know. We'll do our best to help you out. Whenever you're ready to go back to your farm, give me a shout and I'll send you home. Navi sprite will take you back to the farm when you're ready to head out. Speak with him whenever you'd like to go to the earth sprite village or other special areas. Till then, take your time and have fun exploring our little village. Does this take up time, or is time frozen here? Because, like, I really need to take care of my crops and things. Oh, hi. Victor. Um, <laughs> I have some news on our town development project. For our next step, I think we should open some outdoor shop stalls. That way we can sell souvenirs to tourists. What do you mean, is that all? Of course it isn't. I've got much more planned. Can we buy stuff? Our town symbol. We should improve our most vital town symbol. What do you mean you're not sure what our town symbol is? You use it all the time. That aside, you can find the finer details of the request on the bulletin board, as usual. Wait, is it the watering can? Jesus Christ, dude, there's so much happening today. Top of the morning to you, stream. I have an important announcement for you that slipped my mind earlier, so I came to tell you. See, our annual egg hunt is just around the corner, three days away, in fact. Oh yeah, I should explain. The egg hunt is one of our local festivals. As the name implies, the town gets together to search for eggs and around town. Sure, you'll have an extraordinary time if you attend. I'll leave you to it. Don't forget, it's three days from now. I hope you're as excited for it as we are. I'm so excited, man, that I don't know what to say. Um, okay, so we didn't actually get to explore that new area at all. It's kind of annoying. I'm assuming... Okay, Navi's just chilling right over there. Good. Did we pick up the lumber? There we go. Put the solid lumber away. Uh, keep making more or whatever. That's fine. I guess we'll go ahead and clean up our farm real quick. That'll still be the first thing we do in the morning. I do really appreciate the tool bag, but my god do I wish we could just use tools straight from the tool bag. That would be a uh, freaking amazing, man. Oh, that was a... That wasn't a full tree, sorry. I was looking at, like, the berries, whatever these things are. <laughs> The wild berry. I was looking at that and not at the tree I was actually chopping. So that's my bad. But we did wake up late today too, which not a huge surprise. We went to bed pretty late last night. We definitely need to water our chicken. Or water our chicken. Feed our chicken, rather. I mean, I'm sure he would appreciate a little bit of water as well, but he's fine. He doesn't need any water. Give him a pettins. There's some feed back there for him, so we don't need to worry about that. Take our mayonnaise. Anything else? Has our fruit grown yet? No, not yet. Okay, I think that's everything on the main farm to do. Let's go... I don't know how long it's going to take to explore this Earth Sprite Village. I was considering going to the other one first, to the museum first, rather, but it's fine. 
Hi, Shreem. Do you want us to help you out? The Earth Sprites you found would be happy to lend their little hands to you. All you have to do is tell us whose help you'll need and what kind of work you'd like us to do. When assigned to an Earth Sprite leader, follower sprites will hurry off to work. After the work is done, the sprites will happily split their spoils with you the next day. Uh, we'll give you some Sprite Coins. Sprite Coins are our special coins. You can trade them in for lots of neat stuff. Oh, there's a Sprite Shop. Okay. I can't wait to work with you. So wait, does that mean, like, they're just free workers that we can use? Grass Sprite? Or Stone Sprite? Do we have to, like, put all 100 for it to do anything? Okay, logs. Right now we're trying to collect logs. So I'm going to put 15 on there and see if that does anything. Is it just that there's a max of 100 or... Okay. Or does that just mean there's now 15 little wood sprites working for us? If you'd like to release an animal, worry not. We will take good care of them here. Oh, that's nice. If we, like, release animals, they come here instead of just, like, disappearing forever. Okay, so this is another way to buy... Not only crafting items, but also food. Like, ingredients. Interesting. Lost and found. Okay. That's nice to have as well. Can we steal some of this food? No. That's some good looking food though. Can we help with these crops? No, we can't even go up there. Okay. That's fair, I guess. What are you? Don't have anything for you today. Don't have anything for you today. So can we just like assign five to each also or five to the last two? Then? Cause if if it works the like if that just means the maximum that you can have, so now there's just five people cutting grass, five people smashing stones, and 15 people chopping wood, then, like, why wouldn't we just have everybody doing stuff? But also, can we fish here? Can we get any new or special fish or anything? Or is it just the same fish that we always get? Huh. No, it seems like we can't actually fish here. That's too bad. I was hoping with, you know, there being water here and everything. Guess not, though. Let's go back to the farm. So now, are there going to be little dudes running around my farm doing shit for me, though? Is there anybody over here chopping trees or anything? There's a tree here that needs chopped. Do they do it overnight, maybe? I have no idea. What was the other thing we were supposed to be doing today? Museum. We're supposed to be going to the museum. I do remember that. And then eventually we do want to upgrade the hammer and stuff. We should probably get everything to iron before we like go on to steel. We don't really have to like time it in any particular way since Everything just seems to kind of be whatever instant. Play, you, you. Pick up, drop the solid lumber. Oh, we need to go check the community board too. That's the other thing we need to do. So the mayor did ask us to help him out. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep the egg. The egg and the mayonnaise today. It's nice to have a nice, like, mixture of ingredients in your fridge, you know? Never know what you're gonna need. The wild berries aren't worth much, we'll keep those too. Why not? I really wish we could put storage, like, in our house or next to our house or something. Instead of just having it down here. It would be very handy. Can we buy a fruit tree? Ah. Or any of these other, like, new crops? 
because I think I'm pretty sure we've grown all of the regular crops grown or are growing and tea have we done beans wheat rice have we done any of that I th okay I'm pretty sure we're doing all three of these oh you do spore the mushroom log okay good to know Again, it'd be really nice if it told us, like, how many bought, but I guess that's the sort of thing you should probably remember. I'm just dumb. Um, <laughs> elegant stalks of wheat 12 days after planting. Okay. 12 days. What is today? The 12th. Oh, well, those grow for, like, multiple seasons anyways, so it'd be fine either way. Do the beans? Spring, summer, and autumn. Yeah. 250. So it's gonna cost, like... A fair bit. We can only get eight rice. We can get nine wheat, though. Screw it. Let's buy nine wheat and plant those today. Um, and then yeah, we'll get a ball for a mouse for our for our cat. That seems like the nice thing to do, right? Now let's go do the thing we actually came to town to do, huh? Check out the board and donate the stuff. See what all we need. And if we can sell any more of the crap that we have. So solid lumber, glass, or 20 clay. 20 clay should be easy enough. Three peppercorns? That should be easy enough as well. And then you need yogurt. So that's going to be a little while. But... Do we, do we have any peppercorns, or do we sell them all? So 20 clay, 3 peppercorns, though. That's what we need to try to remember. 20 clay, 3 peppercorns. I don't think either one of those would be bad. Clay should actually be pretty easy. I think we have a bunch of that laying around. The peppercorns, though, I'm not sure about. And it looks like the museum is closed on Thursdays. Son of a bitch. Closed Thursdays. Guess we're carrying around these fish for a little longer than I wanted. That's all right, though. Um, put away that for now and pull out the hoe instead. So we're going to go plant these seeds. And then, honestly, probably clear that new farm area more instead of fishing today. Even though, like... It's a rainy day, so fishing on a rainy day would probably be nice, but... So how do we use this? Do we... So I have the mouse ball. What do I do with it, though? It f ball specially made for cats. It's fluffy surface. Put any feline in a frenzy? Hey, thank you for the five bits. We can't just give it to you like we do gifts to other people. Do we, like, put it down outside here? Item menu. Oh, there's a place on ground option. Place on ground. Will you play with it? Oh, well leave it here for now and see if she does anything with it? I don't know, man. I'm very confused. It can go over here. We don't have anything over here anyways. Uh, a place on ground. Calendar. It is two people's birthday today, too. Uh, Lens and Ludus's. I don't know where either one of you live, really, but if I happen to see you... After planting my crops, I'll give you some stuff, I guess. Plant some more stuff. At the end of the day, we are farmers. I feel like, you know, planting should be at the top of our list of things to do. Ooh, that's annoying. We only actually have two more... Not even two whole more tiles that we can do, because it's kind of curved. Alright, there's some wheat growing. Um, what I say we were going to do? 
clear our farm, but before that... Oh, see if we can find Lin or Ludus. Either one of them. Or both, preferably. I mean, the map does show us where people are. But it's a little hard to read. It's because there's so many people. Alright, well, Lynn's right there. Lynn's easy to see. She's at the flower shop. Is that Ludus up in... the house up on the hill there? The top left? I think so. Flower shop... Hopefully they both like flowers, because that's what they're getting. Hello, man. I don't remember your name. Is your... I've, I'm assuming daughter around here? Maybe granddaughter? Here you go. Happy birthday. Oh, my birthday? Oh, I couldn't be happier. You're welcome. And then the other dude. Ludus? Hopefully that was him up in the corner. If not, then... Ugh. I don't know who he is, man. Was it... No, not here. It was a house. This one. How get in. There we get in. You, right? No, you're Lori. Have we not met Ludus before? Or am I just blind? Quite possibly both. Ludus. 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 Who left Lulu... Lulu Coco Village to live on Twi... Oh! You're one of the, um... DLC characters. That's why I'm not seeing you on the map here. Surely, though, you still pop up on the map somewhere, right? No? I thought they would pop up like... I don't know, somewhere on the map. I guess not though. I mean, hopefully as time goes on we'll just get to know these characters and where they are and where to find them and all that stuff. And thankfully there doesn't seem to be any travel time. There's a crap ton of walking time in the game. It takes forever to walk anywhere. But traveling, that's, you know, super easy. You can just travel by boat in an instant, man. It's like magic. Twilight Isle. Honestly, I probably shouldn't even focus on these... other people. Because I don't think they have the same sort of interactions and things that the main game characters do. Supposedly, from what I read, these are all just like characters from previous Harvest Moon games, but I, I'll be honest, I don't remember any of these people, man, that we've unlocked. Can we see like a map specific to this area? No. That's too bad. This is Ludus's house, are you in here? Hello, have we talked to you before? I guess so. You didn't, like, greet us for the first time. Do you like flowers? Oh, yeah, today's my birthday. It's so nice of you to think of me. I'll treasure. Mahalo. Mahalo to you, Ludus. Alright, now let's get the fuck out of here, I guess. How did we get out of here again? I know I said I didn't plan on fishing today, but we are on, like, a whole nother island. It would feel wrong not to at least cast a line out, you know? Just to see what we get. It's probably going to be the same boring shit we get on our island, but like... <laughs> you gotta try, right? Anything new. I don't care what it is. Just anything new. Nope, it's a shrimp. Oh well. It was worth a shot. Now how do we get out of here again? And if nothing else, that's probably more fishing and or not fishing ingredients, more uh, cooking ingredients, right? I'm pretty sure shrimp are are cheap dudes. 
Crabs are definitely cheap dudes, man. <laughs> Getting some more crabs would have our fridge full in no time. Ah, 63. They're not that cheap. And before I'm, like, misunderstanding how the sprite dudes work... And you actually do have to put all 100 of them on something... ...for it to matter. Bro, I'm so mad that I can't seem to get three at the same time ever. Still, the ability to do two at a time is still huge, but, like, it would be nice to be able to cut three. Hush you, you're not gonna pass out. Probably. Have we actually, like, passed out at all yet? Have we let ourselves do that? Oh, that sucked. Thought we'd be okay to just chop the last one down like normal. We can also try to empty this, although I'm not sure trying to do it on a rainy day is the best. Oh wow, it takes a lot. I wonder if it refills itself over time. Okay, that's- <laughs> we need to stop before we actually do pass out. Wait, is it still going down? It almost looked like it kept going down. How many... we have 37. We just needed, what, logs? 30 clay, 40 grass. Oh, shoot, we also need... 20 clay for the for the board. We can go do that real quick before... Night overcomes us. Right, we probably have the clay. Yeah, we have a bunch of clay, dude. Um... So we need 50 of that. I don't know how much flexible grass. We'll just take a bunch. I don't remember how much we needed. I also don't remember how many logs we actually needed, so we'll take all of that and the grass grass because, again, I just don't remember. What was the other thing? There was clay. Oh, there were two other things. One of them was yogurt, which we don't have access to yogurt yet. But there was something else, too. I wonder if we could, like, buy yogurt from the store and then just <laughs> donate that. Peppercorns! That was the other thing. Yeah, I don't think we have any peppercorn. Unless it's in the fridge. So I guess that is possible, but... I don't know, would you keep pepper in the fridge? Well, pepper... I guess it's peppercorn, right? Not, like, dried pepper? Now, I'm assuming the mushroom log, now that we know that spores are a thing, I'm assuming it won't do anything until we seed it or whatever, put spores on it. Which is too bad, but it makes sense, I guess. It just, it would have been really cool to just get free mushrooms from time to time. Mushroom logs! If you plant spores on a mushroom log, tiny mushrooms will sprout. After a few days, your spores will be fully grown. Harvestable mushrooms. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna clear this. Just because I want to put it over here on, like, our main farm instead of all the way over here where it's impossible to get to. Maybe, like... I mean, it's kind of in the way here, I feel like, but fuck it. I don't care. It can go there. I guess that's it for today. Maybe should have put some stuff away, but you haven't played with your ball at all, dude. Does he not like the the mouse ball? Our whole 63 gold we made today? Hell yeah. Love that. Put away all of this. 
get out the watering can. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of puddles. Oh, wait. They take their ball? Did their ball despawn because we left it on the ground? We might have just wasted our money on that ball, dude. Oh, is that... Oh, pick this too. But did we get our first fruit harvest? Um, no, I'm guessing it's not done yet. It's it's getting there though. You can actually see the fruit now. Any of this stuff grow? It did. We got more tapos. And some onions. Sadly, I don't think we can... Oh, it looks like our cucumbers might be done too. Sadly, I don't think there's any way to like sell stuff the same day that you pick it. So we're just kind of stuck with... What we have for now. Like gold-wise. Basically, we're probably going to have to wait until tomorrow to actually... Make use of any of the stuff that we have. The money that we have. Craft thing we can craft. Pick this and then water all of the crops that we can water. We should go check out the little harvest sprite area thing, earth sprite, whatever the hell they want to be called. We should go check that out too and see if they have anything for us since we might have had some dudes working for us tonight, today, whatever. Although I feel like there's a very good chance we need a hundred to actually make use of them. Which kind of sucks, to be honest. Like, why show us the area so early if you need so many sprites to actually have them do anything? Ooh, more gifts. More food? Speaking of food, we need to go check our chicken. Get our egg, let them out for the day, pet them. All of the usual stuff. I am super glad that unlike the old Harvest Moon games that I used to play, it ought oh, our bag's full. Um, put this away. That there's a button to pull the chickens and cows and things in and out of their poops automatically, basically. Really do appreciate that. That's a huge time saver. What were we doing? Oh, we were watering, duh. But I put the watering can away and kind of got sidetracked a little bit with the whole... Whatchamacallit thing. Um, chicken thing. I wonder, should we rush sprinklers before we worry about more upgrades? Honestly, kind of sounds like a good idea to me. I don't mind watering crops, but it takes a lot of our day and a decent amount of energy to do so. I'm almost wondering if it would be worth it to... To rush that instead. Yeah, blood clam's worth nothing. We'll keep that. The cucumbers are worth a surprising amount. Um, we'll keep another another five, like we did last time. Ooh, the onions are worth a lot. We'll keep just one, I guess, in case somebody wants an onion. And we'll keep, like, five more potatoes. I keep doing this backwards. Donate the other stuff, put the other stuff away. Okay. Away with you all... Water can go in there too, actually. I forgot. There we go. Let's go put the other stuff in the house before I lose it, forget about it, whatever. We could buy some mushroom spores today, though. Because we do have a bunch of, uh. Well, I guess it's not really that much money. We do have some money. 
We have a number of money. And it's not enough to buy seed seeds, I don't think. Pretty sure they're all too expensive. So instead, we can use it for mushrooms. Stream, your timing is impeccable. Just got done expanding the town hall. What do you think? I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I'd say it's pretty snazzy now. Bro, this town's really changed a lot considering we've only been here for like two weeks. What did this expansion do for us, for it? Other than just make it look different. Does it actually do anything? Is it useful in literally any way? To us? Yes, yes, very pretty. Uh, one might wonder if a town this small truly needs mayors or town halls, but every community needs a leader, and I've been proud to perform that role. All of Hall is our town symbol. I can't tell you how many years I've dreamed of doing something like this. Oh, that's the town symbol. <laughs> Hold your horses, Victor. You're making it sound like we all decided to build this place up because it was your dream. Oh, you'll have to pardon me, Simon. I didn't intend for it to sound that way. There's no I in town, after all. Darn tootin' there ain't. In times like these, a real mayor should be rallying up his townsfolk first and foremost. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. This town hall serves to support and enrich our citizens. Um, <laughs> I need all of Hall rep... Indeed, all of Hall represents our life here, and the realized efforts of each and every resident is a veritable palace for our citizens. We get a palace? Whoa, all of town's the best. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> The town hall may belong to us all, but Mayor Victor will be doing the cleaning. Use it to your heart's content. Oh, I like that. Everybody's happy about that, man. Read a poem. Okay, give me one sec. Yeah, it's looking great. Well, more tourists flocking to us in no time. I don't know why they're so, like, big on tourists coming in, dude. I mean, I guess it helps boost the economy, get some money in the town and stuff like that or whatever. I guess it has its uses, but, like, I don't like them. Why do you want tourists? That's just more people to deal with. <laughs> why do you want more people in your town? Uh, but what else am I supposed to do when your hair is soft and your eyes are blue? And my heart turns over at the sound of your name. Only you smile at me the way friends usually. Only you smile at me the way friends usually do. I am more of a mess than a rainy day because you have no idea I feel this way. Ah, uh, the aches in my arms still surprise me even years after letting you go. Sad dudes. Okay. There's your poems, though. Hope you enjoyed. Those are from uh, pillow pillow thoughts. Pillow Thoughts, yeah. <laughs> pillow Thoughts is the book. There we go. Credit where credit's due and all that. Good book. Highly suggested. Go pick it up. Read it. There's at least three of them, I know, because I own three of them. <laughs> There's probably more by now, to be honest. I haven't looked in quite a while, because I still don't think I've finished the third one. I haven't been reading much lately. I need to, but I haven't. Damn it. Oh. Game freaked out there a little bit. Requesting Moondrop Flower. Oh, it changed. Sure, here, you can have my one Moondrop. I would have gifted that to somebody instead, but I guess you can have it. We'll take the 200 gold for it. Does this do anything? Whenever you've fulfilled certain conditions and obtained new titles, come to Olive Hall. You'll receive rewards based on the titles you've gained. Oh, cool. Well, we've gotten all kinds of stuff. Um, bro, there's seeds in here? <laughs> there's freaking machines in here? All this stuff that we've crafted, we didn't have to craft? Bro, look at all this stuff. There's so much more, too. All kinds of free things. I mean, most of it looks like it's just coins. Holy hell, our bag is full. Ring bedecked with a splendid gemstone. A gift as fancy as is sure to be well received. So we want to give that to somebody we really like on their birthday. We got another mayonnaise maker. A bunch of fishing bait base. Some seeds. Bruh. A thread maker. Another ingot maker. Some milk. We'll probably just ship the milk, to be honest. Holy hell. How did I not know about that? Did the game ever tell us that? I did put the new bookmark in, and there's four books. Okay, so I'm just one behind. 
I'm not that far behind. How does it, mm, does it tell us how long it takes? I'm going to red tulip three days after planting, four days after planting, six days, okay. Uh, tea grows all the time, so we can grow that whenever. Good, which I do think we're already growing some tea, but we can grow more, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. There's nobody's birthday today, right? Yeah, no. When's the next person we care about's birthday? Who are you? Felicia? I don't think I know who you are. I mean, I might know you, but I don't care about you, I guess is what I should say. It's kind of rude, but... Oh my, it's gonna be a while. Is it you? Reina? No, I don't think it's you. Bro, I don't remember her name either is the problem. You, it's you, Bridget. Okay, so not until autumn for you. And then the other girl, she's blonde, right there. Dude, it's <laughs> both the people that were somewhat interested in maybe trying to marry don't have their birthdays until autumn. Hello. So we have a bit to wait. Donate the fishies. Is there one in this end one already? Yes. There's something in there. Looks like maybe a shrimp? Of some sort? There's no, like, method to this at all. I'm just throwing them in in whatever order I get them in, basically. Place here. So, okay. What are those coin-looking things that we could unlock? There's pet treats. There was, like, actual coin-looking things there, too, at one point. Ugh. I guess... I guess we just need to take all of our stuff back home. And then come back up to the town hall, and then, yeah. I wonder if maybe... Big maybe, but I wonder if... That thing wasn't available until we... Expanded the town hall, maybe? I don't know. Oh, we also need to go look at the... Shoot. At the whatchamacallit, the, uh, the Harvest Sprite Village area. We need to go do that, too, because the whole... To see if they actually did anything for us today or not. Surprisingly, none of this stuff is in our way. Can we till these tiles? We cannot. That's slightly annoying. So we need our bucket. There we go. So we need, what, four more spots? We have two there, so we just need to cut two more. This really goes to show, though, how much we should probably try and get sprinklers. It's weird, like, the default seems to be nine for the amount of seeds for, like, the 3x3 three three square, which is super popular for Harvest Moon games, so that in and of itself isn't that weird. But the fact that there are sprinklers in the game, you would think that it would default to eight instead, so that you could make use of the sprinklers more. Flower time! Okay, so flowers for everybody, please. Thank you. And you. And potatoes. And some tea. And then bunches of water in. And then we need to go to Earth Sprite Land. Oh, we need to go back up. Mm, there's so much to do now. All of a sudden, there's like, ah, uh, we need to go back up to the town hall, too, to see what other rewards we have, and place all of our machines, because we have a bunch of extra machines. I feel like we kind of need to start an actual area for the machines now, though, too, because they're starting to get, we just have a bunch of them now, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, and I still really don't like the mayonnaise machine being behind the chicken goop. So I think I'm going to check and see if I can move the chicken coop back any farther. Annoyingly, that means we're going to have to move our chicken again. 
but yeah, I'd rather just have it in front of it somewhere or beside it or something like that instead of just being behind it the way it is. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's clear you away. Pick that up, the mayonnaise. And then move you. I know that's gonna screw up that, but it, it is what it is. And then building. How far back can we put you? We can put you all the way back to here. So set you there. Annoyingly, we have to name you again. Oh good, the PlayStation remembered. Chicken house. Confirm. You. Go to the chicken house. You can come back outside for now though. And then we need to fill the fodder. There we go. So now, mayonnaise maker. I guess we can just put it beside it, yeah? We get like two of them beside it, one here, and then... Because we did get another one, didn't we? Yeah. Damn you, game. There we go. There we go. Two mayonnaise makers now. Look at us go. Um, And then for our other machines, I still don't plan on like putting crops past this point for now, at least until we get a bunch of sprinklers for everything. Like, this is more or less the extent of the crops that I plan on having. But, and then that's going to be my orchard up there for fruit trees. I mean, we could put it over here, I guess, our crafting area. I don't know, man. For now, maybe we'll just leave it more or less here where we have it, even though it is ugly. Ingot maker go next to the other ingot maker. We didn't get another lumber maker. That's weird. Thread maker by thread maker. I think that's everything. What do we need to make bait with? I know it's the base, but then just grass. Okay. So let's take out all of our grass for now. Guess we can put the jewelry ring in there. We'll sell the fall grade. And then, what was the other thing? The rock salt. There was something else that I was wanting to do. I don't know. We'll make some more iron bars. And we have a bunch of logs. Let's do like half of them. Oh, there's a max that we can do actually. And never mind, it's still doing stuff, so. Oh well! <laughs> craft all of those, we're probably out. Alright, just put all this shit away then. Put you away, and you away. Crafty boy. However many we can make. We can only make ten? Oh, it takes three small fish baits to make one actual bait. That's right. That's why I decided, like, it really wasn't worth it. Oh, attached to fishing rod, I guess. Does it stay attached? Does not. Attached to fishing rod. Sell you. Keep you. Where's our cat? Here you are. Here. Have a treat. Give treat. There you go, kitty. Can we put these anywhere? No. Can we put chests inside our house? need five lumber it'd be really handy if we could five lumber either way I'm gonna build the chest so just build now and then can we put you in house No. Absolutely not. Not even a little bit. That's... <laughs> okay. And we also can't put it up here anywhere next to the house. That's all super annoying. Whatever. I guess we have a second chest for down here now. 
We can sell the Fulgurite. We're keeping the mayonnaise. I guess we'll put... So these are all crafting materials. Except for the ring. The ring's definitely not a crafting material. And that's a food for animals. So we'll separate those out. Treats, that, and that can all go in here. And the mayonnaise can go in the house. In the fridgy fridge. Um, I also think I forgot to turn my AC up. How do we decorate the house? Because I know there's... Oh, I know there's a way to do it. Right? I'm pretty sure there's a way to decorate the house. But we don't seem to be able to move anything. So maybe the stuff that's already here is permanently here and we can't move it. We can only move the other junk. Sure, let's manage our sprites. Add two more to the log sprites. And I don't need anything else. And then... I have something for you. A log. <laughs> a single log. So, okay, so they don't actually help on the farm, do they? They just collect random junk for us? Okay. Well, I mean, that's still something. I was just hoping... I was just hoping that they would actually help, like, clear our farm and stuff. Kind of like how you can use the nature sprites in some of the Harvest Moon games. And then... And then, like, uh... What are they freaking called, dude? In, in Stardew Valley. Harvest sprites? I don't know. Whatever they're called. Uh, you can use them once you get... To a certain point in the game to help you with like farm work and stuff i was hoping it was something like that but i guess not it's just random junk let's go back up to the community board now see if there's anything else up there for us well there definitely is not the community board but the other thing the um ba -ba -ba -bum -ba -bum, the title reward thingy i don't know what it's called I don't know if it even really has a name, technically. Oh, my nose is getting stuffy. Treat River gives us more treats. Gives us a stool. 20 fences. 5 coins? What are these? Town metal. A special metal issued by the town. It's certainly something to brag about. Can't use it for much else. Might as well store it somewhere safe or ship it. I don't trust it. <laughs> can, can we use it for something? I mean, if a, if a game tells you that you can't use something for something, that usually means you can't use it for anything. And it's probably not worth keeping a hold of. Right? It's probably best to just ship it out, like they said, or... To, to just keep it somewhere safe, I guess, for bragging rights, but... Like, now I'm, now I'm super curious, though. Oh, we got a mirror? We will... Catch the smallest fish possible, catch the largest fish possible. Alright, so that's everything. We got seven silver medals. We got a long mirror. Small table. Mysterious bait. Bait that can be equipped on your fishing hook. Using this will make it easier to hook rare fish. Oh. Okay. Interesting, I guess. Let's see what these medals are worth. If we were to ship them out, and then maybe we'll use the rare bait. Are you a tourist? No, okay. See, I kind of hate there being tourists in the game constantly because talking to them doesn't do anything. So 
So every time I talk to one of them, I'm like, oh god, man. Or talk to someone, I'm like, am I just wasting my time here? Or... Oh, damn, dude, it's worth 500. And 100 for the bronze. We should probably just sell them, right? I am super tempted to look it up. The wooden fence. Can we, like, hop the fence? Does it automatically... Okay, it does. No. Okay, so I'm not gonna use the fences for now, then, if I can't hop them. I mean, I guess I could leave, like, gaps everywhere that I want to be able to walk through, but maybe we need a gate first or something. And then I'm assuming the ones with the little red things on them means they can only be placed in the house? Like the mirror. Can't do it there. Oh, it's showing us where we can put them. Sure, set the mirror there. Weird that we can't actually use it. Um, that's also weird. Why can we only put the table over here in this corner? That is such a bad place for a table. Whatever, I guess it's going there. And then the stool can go here so we can either use that or this as a table. That's everything, that's everything. Keep the egg. Uh, keep the pudding for now. And I'm just gonna look up those stupid things. Pioneer's Olive Town medals. Are they actually used for anything? Pioneer's of Olive Town medals. You gonna get your shower? Enjoy. What to do with your medals? Um, I don't want cookies. Reject all cookies, random website. Uh, you'll quickly amass quite a collection of bronze med medals with a few silver thrown in for good measure, maybe one or two golds. However, it's not really apparent what these medals are actually useful for. Okay, to claim your titles, yeah, yeah, yeah. What to do? Pockets are stuffed with these little souvenirs. And unfortunately, game gives you no uh, indication of what to do with all these medals once you have them. First option is to drop them off in a storage box on your farm. They stack, and since they never get used for, say, crafting or decorating, well, they'll stay until you get sick of the sight of them. Second, a much better option is to sell them. Okay, 10 medals are basically just coupons you exchange for free money. Okay. And that's it. That's it. Okay, so they really are just for selling. So let's sell the bitches then. Chocobo, hello, sir. That's a decent amount of money for us out of nowhere. How much are the fences worth? Only four gold each. Not really worth selling then. <laughs> the mysterious bait is worth a mysterious 420. Seems like an awful sus amount for it to be worth, that's all. Um, okay, well, you can go here, you can go here. That's enough to do another upgrade tomorrow. Yeah, it just happened to give us three. I wonder if that was on purpose. And then... Treats, that, and you, and the mysterious bait can all go here. I think. Go ahead and grab three of those and three of these, because we'll do another upgrade tomorrow. Maybe, actually, before we do another upgrade, what do we need for sprinklers? I forgot about the nets. Holy shit. Oh, damn, dude. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Let's and go. Just and the seasoning maker. I completely forgot about that. So we need 
five solid lumber. Okay, I think... I think we have that. Brick maker. Hmm, wonder what we're gonna need that for. Textiles, there's all kinds of new things, huh? Powder maker. That's silver. So it's silver and iron. Okay, so we're not quite ready for sprinklers yet. But we can make... The... Seasoning maker, though. We could make the brick maker, too. But as of right now, we don't have a need for the brick maker or the other one. So we need rope. And however much solid lumber we have. And however much iron we have. Rope, iron, and solid lumber. I'll take the regular lumber too, because why not? That's enough iron ore to make another iron bar. Oh, nope, cancel that. So let's make the seasoning maker first. And then make a net. Make two nets. I don't know. Nets are cool. And then... I think that was it, right? Okay. So, it's not quite gonna fit. In the same way that the other ones do, but... Do we have anything we can make seasoning out of? I guess we would need... More... Peppercorns, which I don't think we have any of. So now nets. Can we put them like... Yeah. Okay, we'll put one here, and then we'll put one... I don't think we'll be able to put it here. It's not shallow enough. But we'll put one on the other side of the area that we have. Sage is a seasoning of some sort, right? I kind of forgot that we could scavenge over here. Probably should have been doing that. Where else can we put the net? Oh, there's a spot. Yeah, let's scavenge all this crap over here before we go to bed tonight. They make good gifts, and I think this is where we found the peppercorns at. Butterbur is used for seasoning in some way. There's some peppercorn. I don't know, is it a one-to-one -one ratio, though, of peppercorn to pepper? Or do we need multiple peppercorns per pepper? What does seasoning even do for us? <laughs> I'm assuming it just, like, makes cooked food better or something. But, like, this is all literally just a guess. I have no clue. Grab the sugar cane, dude. Cat flower. Oh, have we gone now before? I think we've taken a picture of it now before. Since we're here and we have some energy left, let's see if we can't drain this a little bit more. It did refill. Okay. So we need a crap ton of energy to be able to do this. This is going to be like a day's work, maybe? What, like a third of the way there? We're about halfway there? Ooh, I don't know, man. I don't think we're quite going to make it. I really don't want to pass out. Oh, no! <laughs> Bruh. That sucks. I didn't think that one last scoop would make us pass out, but... Oh, well. It's fine. I'm assuming if we pass out, we wake up late, maybe lose... Now we... I don't think we lost anything. We, we started with two less hearts for the day. But outside of that, I don't think it actually did anything to us. Well, that's like no big deal. 
did we lose money? Maybe we lost some money. And it's a no freaking water day? Okay, make us two pepper. Were we able to put sugar cane in there too? I didn't pay enough attention to see what all we could or couldn't put in there. Any harvesting to be done today? Doesn't look like it. What about our grass? Nope. The moon drop flower. We're gonna go empty that stupid thing today, man. I just want to know what's at the bottom of it. I think I think they mentioned that there's like treasure chests or something at the bottom of it. Oh, we're also supposed to upgrade our tool today. I don't want to forget to do that. Anybody's birthdays or anything today? What day is it? Oh, I forgot to check. 14th. Yes, this is the new Elder Scrolls. It's uh, Elder Scrolls 7. I got early access to it. It's amazing. And uh, you should be super jealous that you're not going to play it ever. Oh, that's cool. It didn't refill today all the way. So why did it refill last time? Does it just hate us? I guess it just hates us, huh? Maybe it felt bad because we, like, murdered ourselves trying to open it. We got two heavy objects. We need to take that to the museum. Which I think the museum's open today. I can put you away for now. Oh, I forgot about the, the thingies! The nets! Where did I put them? There's one. We got... Was that a squid? Wait, is the net used up? Is the net one time use? Don't tell me the net's one time freaking use, man. Uh, can we like place on ground? Yeah. Big Fin Reef Squid. I mean, that's fancy. That's, like, really cool and all. It's probably worth a lot of money, too, based off of, like, the eight stars. But we're gonna end up donating it. But that really sucks if it's one-time use, man. Yeah, never, man. That's what Bethesda said. But only you, for some reason? Like, general public will get to play it in about 20, 30 years, but for some reason they said that Demon Lord fella, man, he's just, he's not allowed to touch it. And who am I to argue with Bethesda, you know? They're all all-knowing, all-powerful and shit. Something like that, so... I just had to agree with them. Uh, we're gonna donate the straw- or sell the strawberries. They're worth a lot of money. And then... I don't think we've ever sold a muscle before? Not that I can think of, at least. We'll sell that, too. And then we'll keep the rest of this stuff. Let's go do an upgrade real quick before I forget, and we'll see what all we can upgrade, or up, ha, huh! what we can donate here. Not Nigel's handiworks. Hey. Upgrade tools. So the sickle seems pretty dumb to upgrade this early. Um. Charge it to water the crops before you. So I'm assuming it does three crops at a time. Does it hold more water, too? That's the other thing that I want to know. Screw it. Let's do the watering can. We're going to want to do it eventually anyways. We might as well do it now. And then the hammer so that we can do better mining. And then that'll be it. Oh wait, how much is the bag upgrade? Screw it, give me the bag upgrade too. Spend all this money we got, man. Being able to carry more stuff is more better. The next one's 15 grand. We don't quite have that much money. We are sitting on nine though. We have like a decent little nest egg here built up. What do people need today? Milkfish. Okay, well, I don't have any on me. If I catch one, though, I will gladly give it to you. 
I'm pretty sure they pay more than like the shipping bin does, so why wouldn't you, I guess, right? Bruh, Demon Lord really just ignoring you, man, ain't he? I mean, granted, you were kind of rude to him, but still, like, he didn't even say he'll go back. Uh, do we have, like, you can have this flower, I guess. I have no idea if you even wow. like that kind of flower, but... Oh. I honestly don't know what anybody likes in this game. <laughs> like, it's a complete mystery to me, man. Silver Town Metal, that's what we got. I mean, it's worth 500 gold, so... What was that? A Gibeon Stone? Treasure that was once part of a meteorite in space can be placed on a countertop in your house or donated to the Hello. museum. We will donate. We'll also donate. You have to donate oysters? I didn't realize those counted as fish, I'll be honest. That means we probably need to donate mussel too. Which we've already Hello. sold at least one of. Oops. This hurts, man. This thing's probably worth a lot of money, but. Oh well. First one goes to the to the museum. It's just the rules. I don't make them up. That was everything we could donate. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. Hello. Uh, treasure. Give me in stone. There we go. That's everything we can donate. So now I guess we stop and see about buying more crops? I'm really against buying, like, crafting materials. So I don't want to do that. Ooh, we could buy another chicken, actually. That's not a terrible idea. We might also be able to upgrade our coop. I don't know if they need actual things for upgrading coops or if they just need money. Onions are worth a lot of money. I'm gonna buy nine more of them. Or wait, no, our fields are full right now. Never mind. Have we grown beans yet at all? I would like to grow everything. Um. Ooh, we need shiitake spores. Just buy, I don't know, nine of them, because nine is a good number for buying things. And then, okay, no, we did do all three trees. We have all three trees currently planted. Have we done rice yet? I know I just said I didn't plan on planting anymore right now, but I definitely want to grow all of the crops, and I don't think we've done rice. This also grows in all three seasons, so screw it. Buy nine more of you as well. And then I'm pretty sure at that point that's for sure like everything that has been planted. Tried scheduling you for summer classes? That's gross. Were you able to, like, fix that <laughs> so you're not scheduled for summer classes? I hope so. That sucks. This game really needs a sword button. Did we get our seasoning? We did. Okay. Well, sell the first one. How much was that worth? Was it worth, like, anything? Not yet. Well, I hope you can get it fixed and they're not just like, sucks to be you or something, you know? <laughs> that would really suck. Um, problem is, I don't know what can be like ground into seasoning and what can't be. I'm assuming flowers and stuff can't be, right? Like oysters? Oysters wouldn't make any sense. Uh, you can't even, like, rearrange stuff in the chests, man. They just go in there, and then you're stuck with them wherever they're at. It is rough. Let's spore this log real quick. Wink. Plant. 
Okay, so it does only take one. Good to know. And I guess seeds can also go in this chest here. And then we have two more sets of seeds. Problem is, I don't think my field is big enough to support them. Well, they do grow in every season, right? Spring, summer, autumn. Spring, summer, and autumn. Yeah, so it's fine. We have them for the future whenever one of these things and crops finish up. I guess that'll have to be good. I don't think there's any point in going to the Sprite Village every day. Oh, our fridge is... Oh! Oh, there's a grab mode. Okay, so you can rearrange stuff. At least here you can. I like that there's progression in the sense that, like, you know, things get better, presumably the happier your chickens are or whatever. I do appreciate that, but my god, does it make everything take up more space, man. Completed food, I guess, can go over here. Everything else can go up here. Can you make ground oregano? Is that something you can do? Can you make onion powder? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know any of this stuff. I need more machines so we can do more tests. Does it tell us everything that we can use the powder maker for here? Coffee beans, cacao, chili peppers, wheat, and herbs. What's considered an herb? Oregano would be considered an herb. Onion, no. Royal fern, presumably no. Can you eat the royal fern? I'm so confused, man. Can you eat the royal fern? You can place it on ground. Can you eat any of this stuff? Uh, see, you can't eat herbs, but you can eat vegetables. AI question of the day. Imagine you're a video game developer forced to pitch a wacky crossover game. What two seemingly unrelated franchises do you mash up and how does it work? SimCity and Bomberman. That's just like the destruction mode that most city builders have on steroids, man. Except you're running around just blowing the shit up. I like it. <laughs> that's, that's a great idea. Um, I didn't really put much thought into this one today, I'm not gonna lie. I would mash up mm, Final Fantasy and Disney. <laughs> Sorry, I got Kingdom Hearts on the mind. Uh, <laughs> it's just so fucking... It's such a weird idea, man, but it worked. Uh, honestly, I don't know. Metal Gear Solid and Strawberry Shortcake. It's not a good idea. I'm just listing random things that are popping into my head. My brain isn't working right now. It hardly works in general. I don't know. SimCity and Bomberman's a pretty good mix, though. So it just takes, like, that whole destruction aspect that a lot of city builders have and just turns it up to 11, right? Okay, so that's, like, everything that we have. I'm gonna put seeds down here, out of the way. Uh, gifts there. Animal things here, I guess, and then just all of the random shit. Pop. There's some bait here. I don't know. Okay, none of this stuff can be ground up. Oop. Gifts and gifts. Metal Gear Solid Civ game. So wait, are you like, are you still God as in like Civ, but then you're sending out a bunch of solid snakes <laughs> to do your bidding? Is that, is that how this is working? What is, how does the mashup work in this scenario exactly? That's what I need to know. I have questions. <laughs> I have so many questions. But with Kojima Conspiracy Geography. Hell yeah. All right. I'm all for it, man. Let's go. <laughs> That's Jesus, man. I like it. 
I say we go for it. Or he goes for it? Somebody goes for it. I don't know who, but somebody needs to make it. Can we buy another fridge? Storage is gonna be an ongoing problem for me. It is in games like this in general to begin with, but... Because I never know, like, what to keep and what not to keep, so then I just end up keeping everything and it's a mess. Furniture! Do you sell fridges? You do not sell fridges. Who would? Would it be, like, Nigel's Handiworks? Would he sell fridges? Hmm, uh maybe? That's the pet shop. Oh, we were gonna see, like, how much a new chicken is, too, weren't we? Um, I forgot to bring, like, any of the gifting stuff, or I would've given you a gift Ooh. today. Huh. Buy... Oh, wait, apply livestock chicken breeding kit. Skill level isn't high enough, okay. 2,000 gold. Well, let me see if we can buy a fridge, and if we can, how much it is first. And then we might buy another chicken. This is the handiworks, right? Yes. Wait. Eight to six closed Wednesdays. Okay, we're good. Hello. Expand house? 30,000 gold house. Oh, it's just silver. Oh, you get a bigger fridge. That's cool. Buy furniture. You also do not sell fridges. Oh god, I can't even see what we need for this big coop. Sorry about the flashing, there's nothing I can do. At least that I can tell. Um, I don't, I don't know. Oh, that's one way I can test it though, to see if it's the capture card in this game not getting along, or if it's actually the game itself. There we go. I just switched to, like, my actual monitor view. So I'm looking at the game not through the capture card. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's zoomed in, but it's fine. So for some reason, the capture card does not like this game. But we need... Sorry about the flashing. We need flexible grass, silver ingots, and solid lumber. Okay. And then a bunch of money. I also don't know why it's zoomed in so much. On there, I need, I, I, I just need to redo my whole capture setup, but like, uh, once I get my room done, that's my next, my next big, like, project that I plan on working on is getting, not a new capture card, but other, all new, like, switchers and splitters and all of that garbage. We forgot to buy the chicken. I'm kind of stupid. Apologies. Let me go buy the chicken. Any names for the next chicken, guys? Any suggestions? Oh, wait, does it show us? Oh, it has eight hearts and four stars. I don't know what that means, but... Bye! What do we want to name our chicken? Give everybody a minute. Ugh. I'm drinking Pink Whitney mixed with sour apple jolly rancher or something like that mixed with like some watermelon strawberry thing i don't know it's two different flavored waters i that's generally what i do with my flavored water is just pick two random ones and mix them together and then i threw in some fucking pink whitney because why not it's good stuff honestly it's not bad Belize box? <laughs> Is that like Belize be 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 bub? Is that? Am I pronouncing that right? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Belize bub, Belize bub. I don't. Know, I just realized I do not know how to pronounce that word. Um. Anyways, Bok. B a w k. Is there a character limit? There is a character limit, but it fits. Done. B-E-E-B-L. Beelzebub. 
Beelzebok? Beel... Beelz... Zabok. <laughs> I'm gonna struggle with that forever. But there we go. We got ourselves a new chicken. He is Satan incarnate, apparently. Or something along those lines. Look, I don't know my real life lore. I need this. I need this. We should probably go hammer some things, but I feel like fishing, so we're probably gonna fish instead. Oh, and then just because of my own curiosity, can we hold more water now? In the watering can? Thirty, so we can hold ten more. I mean, it's better than what we had, so I'll take it. But I was hoping for a little bit more of an upgrade than 10. Okay, pet those guys. Any more trees, new trees that need chopped down? There's you, we forgot to get the hammer out. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot we upgraded this too, so we don't have to smash things as much to get rid of them anymore. You might want to, like, not stand there, squirrel, yeah. <laughs> Tried to warn you, buddy. That was not a good place to be there at that specific time. We should probably also clear the puddles on our farm for, like, the clay and stuff, but I don't know. And I can't believe that just completely uses up the net. The net is one time use. That is crazy to me. Because that cost us decent resources. I don't remember exactly what it cost us. But we paid, hold on, we can go check, right? It was string and lumber, or no, yeah, whatever. Like processed wood. <laughs> Words are escaping me. Solid lumber, solid lumber at that. That stuff takes, it took eight hours to make the lumber, plus however long to make the twine. The twine's basically nothing, just time investment. For a one-time use net. That's kind of garbage, man. Okay, the twine is free, we just make that in hand. That's insane, I don't like that. That's upsetting. Um, okay, so not doing any more of that for a bit. I have decided that we are going to go ahead and clear up these puddles because they're bugging me being here. And then, even though we should be collecting ore or clearing the next part of the farm, I think instead I'm going to do the irresponsible thing and fish. Mostly because I have a bunch of fish uh, bait and I want to get rid of it. That's the only real reason for it. I have no other reason. Also, while I was here, I should have got rid of all this stuff. You, 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 that's it. Oh, no, don't place on ground, dummy. Attached a rod. Let's catch some small fish, I suppose. Can't fish there, really? You can fish here. Man, all that money we made went quick, huh? <laughs> I mean, granted, I think the largest chunk of it was spent on crops. So that's not a bad thing. We could have also used it for unlocking the next area. But honestly, I'd rather do it with resources than with money. It gives a better sense of progression in the game, I feel like. Plus, like, we haven't even really made use of the second area of the game yet. We're still working on making that do anything for us. Basically trying to unlock the barn. Sardine. Sardine, sardine. Sardine, sardine. Imagine if in real life, dude, animals freaking said their names like, like Pokemon do. 
Also, why didn't we name animals after the sound that they make? Why is that not a thing? I know, like, is it... Is it Egyptian where they call cats Mao? Because that's the sound they make? M-A-U? I'm pretty sure somebody calls cats Mao. I want to say it's Egyptian. I'm not positive, though. But anyway, that just makes sense to me, dude. And then, like, why not just call dogs Bork? <laughs> Look at the Borks, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know. It just makes sense to me. It might be stupid, but whatever. Call cows moves. Crows cause. Oh, um, what was I going to say? Called bird tweets? <laughs> like, obviously you'd need to get a little more specific eventually, because a lot of birds make very similar noises, so... Just as an example, what would you call fish? Blubs? <laughs> an Egyptian cat breed called Mao, so probably. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that, that might have been what I was thinking of. I don't know if they call all cats Mao, or just the one specific breed, but... I knew at some point I had seen Cat and Mao next to each other. That was about it. <laughs> Fish put me back, put me back. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, dude. Now I'm just imagining if like everything could speak like human language. <laughs> just, but like we're still extremely simple creatures, but somehow could speak full sentences, you know? Like, the intelligence of a small child, but speaking full sentences. That's what's going through my head now. With the fish just yelling, put me back, over and over again as soon as it comes out of the water. I feel like crabs would just be constantly threatening you, you know? With a New York accent. A Boston accent, specifically. Actually. <laughs> just be threatening to pinch you every time you look at them the wrong way. Hell yeah. <laughs> How much bait do we have left? Oh, we're out of bait. Oh, well, no wonder we're not catching sardines anymore. I guess we could go ahead and, like, get all these... ...salts. <laughs> yes, exactly, man. I didn't even think of clams from Futurama, but 100%, that's perfect. Yes. <laughs> I like it. That's good. Can we get another treasure chest from the same pond? Do we have the energy to empty this pond again? Or are we just going to pass out again? We probably don't have the energy for this. This is probably a waste. I'm going to stop before we pass out this time, maybe? Probably? Take it easy, man. Thanks for stopping out. Appreciate you. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to stop. That's annoying, though. Uh, any more forage we can grab while we're up here? Let's put the tools away before we do accidentally use it. Oh, there's more small ponds. Oh, and there's mushrooms, too. <clears throat> Peppercorn? Perfect. Oh, this is one of those burr thingies. Butter burrs. More flowers. Maybe if I can pick it up. We really should just focus on clearing this area. There's too many trees, man. I can't, I can't deal. I get lost in the trees. Oh no, it does stay empty. Okay, there's just multiple little ponds over here. <clears throat> that I somehow never noticed before. Okay, you can go in here. I think that's it. Oh, nope. The salt. And then in this one. Oh, we never checked the sugar cane. Can we grind down sugar cane? We can. To make sugar. That makes a lot of sense. Make us some sugar then. Thank you for the five bits, Noodle. Flowers can go in here. 
think that's it. Oh, peppercorn, so we can turn it into pepper eventually. That's it for there. And then... Any fish worth shipping? Anything over 50 we decided to ship. Oh wait, that's under 50. I'm stupid, I don't know how to math. Or read. Or much of anything, really. Have we shipped a mushroom before? Bruh, I don't remember. I think we're gonna keep it. I'm gonna put it in the house. Mushroom, fish, you, and you. We should cook some food. Hey, mix salad! Let's go, okay. So this is a new thing we can make. Onions are expensive, dude. Keep the onion. And then we need some sort of wild something. I think the berries are worth next to nothing. Auto select? Lowest quality first? I wish there was like a lowest value first, but that's a new food. Awesome. Anything else new we can make? Not really. We need, is that a tomato for that? Egg sandwich. I'm assuming that's just bread that we need. We can't make bread yet either. What is that? Fruit compo, is that milk? Bread, we just need wheat, which we don't have yet. Did that make any room in our fridge? Not really. One spot. I guess we should take the completed food out of the fridge. It's not like it's gonna spoil or anything. We have a bunch of eggs. Let's make... Yeah, I want to save stuff for, like, egg sandwich. But... Bruh. Oh, shoot, we do have... We have clams in our backpack. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Um... Vegetable salad. Lowest quality first. Cook. It's a little late tonight to be doing any, like, thing with the food. Um, we only have one of you, so... Actually, use the lowest quality first, because presumably we're just going to keep getting higher and higher quality stuff as the game goes on. So you might as well get rid of the low quality stuff. Do we need shellfish for anything else? I don't fucking know, dude. Cook some more shellfish soup. It makes sense that it takes time to cook things, but it kind of annoys me that it takes time to cook things. Um, fried egg, no. Can't make any desserts. Could make vegetable juice, but like, I don't wanna waste the vegetables. That gives us a couple of new, like open spots at least. And a lot of food for tomorrow, so tomorrow we can, like, maybe actually go mining. Or clearing clearing the new area, actually, would probably be the, the better idea. Have we pet you today, Marie? Yes, we have, okay. Sorry that your ball is just gone, dude. Like, I spent $200 on a ball for you, and then it just disappeared overnight. I didn't know how to play with you with it. Wait, is today the Egg Festival? Is that today? Shoot, that's today. Egg hunt. Yeah, where do we... Where? How? I'm assuming the mayor is going to show up and tell us about it. I'm hoping at least the mayor is going to show up and tell us about it. Because otherwise I'm lost lost. I don't even know where to go for festivals in this game. Oh. This is new. 
Is that the Harvest Goddess? Of this game? Or is she just some, like, mysterious ghost lady? Or both, I guess? I don't <laughs> freaking know. Weird. Okay. Three at a time. Okay. That's what I figured. I'm also, like, out of water for some god-awful reason. Super annoyed now with how our fodder set up because I'm not going to be able to water it in one sweep. Did I plant these in the wrong season or something? Why have these not grown at all? Odd to me. Ooh, another onion. Onion's expensive, boy. Oh, no! That was a waste. I done screwed up. Wait, what? Why did it flip the direction I was watering in? This game confuses me sometimes. I mean, sure, I'm not exactly being careful or anything with it, but like, come on, dude. It did it again! <laughs> I'm holding R1 the entire time, which is, I'm pretty sure, meant to keep us facing the same direction when we're doing anything. I'm not convinced this is actually any faster than just watering normally. Outside of the fact that we have more water per, like, trip to the well. That obviously makes things a little quicker, but that's the only real benefit I'm seeing right now to having the bigger watering can. Once we can do the whole field at a time, I think it'll be real nice. That didn't ruin the crops at all, man. Just dropping a tree right on top of it. Oh, sugar! That's what it is, man, that a bunch of those recipes were asking for, of course. Okay, cool. So now we got some sugar. Well, we need to ship at least one before I forget. Pick these, though, because also, again, forget. And then that's definitely going in our fridge. You, one, ship. It's not bad. 48 gold for each one. Are those going to just, like, drop whenever they finally are ripe, ready to be picked. Wait. There's Nugget. Where's the other one? It dropped an egg? Oh, you're over here. Why are you over here, little dude? Confusing the hell out of me, man. Oregano? That's an herb. Can we grind it? Have we tried oregano yet? Oh, you need chopped. Oregano cannot be chopped. Okay. So, so far, it's just sugar and whatever the other one was. Peppercorn. Okay, I don't think the royal fern's actually used for anything. So I'm gonna take those out. I'm definitely gonna put the sugar in. Oh god. Wild berries. Eggs. So that's everything but the onion. Onions are worth a lot of money anyway, so screw it. I'm just gonna ship the onion. And I guess all these royal ferns too, because I don't know what else to do with them. So I really don't know if they have any use outside of shipping. Alright. 
we should probably go try to figure out this festival thing now. See how that all works. I think it would be really handy if the game gave us some sort of clue, though. <laughs> Guess we just go into town and see what happens, right? <clears throat> I assume we know how it works, right? We just find the most eggs and win some sort of prize, basically Stardew Valley. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to declare our annual spring egg hunt open. Yay! <laughs> Eggs are hidden all over town, so keep your eyes peeled and search away. There is but one rule, have fun and play fair. Now then, we'll be commencing the festivities shortly. So take this time to prepare yourselves for the most excellent event of the year. He really likes that pun, doesn't he? The Egg Hunt is a local festival where everyone in town searches for eggs that are said to bring happiness to those who find them. If you're close with someone, you can ask them to look for eggs together with you. Or if you prefer to hunt alone, that's okay too. Just talk to Victor to get things started. Uh, where is Victor? Egg Hunt Attendee Award, okay. Victor, where are you? Jack is giving you tips for finding eggs. I mean, this is a convenient way to like meet everybody, I guess and get a little bit of friendship points with everyone. Gloria painted all the eggs. Good for her, huh? Is there anybody here we haven't met? I know there's still two or three people that we haven't met. Problem is I have no idea, like, who, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I haven't met them yet. How am I supposed to know? I guess, I guess I can't ask you. You're the person I'm closest to. And I don't seem to be able to ask you if you want to egg hunt with me, so. Is time frozen? Bro, time's frozen. Can we fish right now? Can we, can we, can we cheese the festivals for like free work time? Free outside of the house work time at least? Early bird gets the egg. Nice. Hello. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I believe I've heard of you. Your stream, correct? My name is Sydney. I usually work in the city. Olive Town is a nice place. My family loves it here too. So we've never met you before. You're new. Now, who else is new? And also, how have I not met you before? She says she normally works in the city, so maybe, like, she's only here for specific days or events or times or something? I don't have any gifts to give anybody, do I? Do you like pudding? I think you like food. A present for me? Yeah, dude, there you go. Have some food. Is that everybody? Anybody, like, down here? There's no, like, outcasts that just don't want to join the festivities? I guess not. Can we fish? That's the other question. Will that work during the Egg Festival? No. Okay. That's fair. Like, the game shouldn't let us do it. I just didn't know if it would or not. Can't enter buildings on festival day either. Okay. Again, fair. I get it. This would have been really cool if we could use that as, like, a cheese-esque thing. We've talked to... we talked to Raina, right? Nope, we forgot to talk to you. Surely that's everybody now, right? That we talked to? I think we're still missing a person or two, though. I, two people, actually, I, I think. That we haven't met at all yet. We need to meet... 
one. We're still missing one. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Random person we haven't met. I don't know. All right, whatever. Talk to Victor. It's that time of year again. Uh, the egg hunt will begin shortly. Have you made your preparations? Of course. Wonderful, let the hunt begin. We're gonna kick these dudes' asses, man. Hi, Stream, do you wanna egg hunt with us? Cindy and I are aiming for the top. We're gonna be the best egg plorers in town. Uh, seriously, Mikey? Why do you need a cool team name? But I thought we agreed not to make any more weird egg puns today. Anyway, Stream, since you're a farmer, we figured you'd be better at finding eggs than anyone else. Yeah, if we team up with you, we'd be extra unstoppable. So come on, let's go hunt for eggs together. Yay! We're glad to have you on the team. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get hunting. Oh, well, okay. I guess we can help the kids out. Wait, do we actually get a hunt for the eggs, or is it just a cutscene? I mean, there's another one right there, dude. Yup. I was really hoping we would get to do this stuff. Wow, we found so many eggs this year. I think this might be the most we've ever gotten. With a collection this extravagant, we're gonna be crowned top egg floors for sure. That must mean we're gonna be the happiest people in all of town this year. Thanks a bunch, Stream. You gotta team up with us again next time. Mikey, if we do team up with Stream again next year, we should make sure we don't get in the way of his awesome egg hunting skills. Huh? I wouldn't dare, not to my fellow explorer. But yeah, Stream, if you don't have anyone to partner up with next year, come on and join us again. Definitely, I wanna see the team get back together next year, as long as it's okay with you. I mean, that's fine and all, but I was really hoping to be able to do the egg hunt myself. Uh, those who find a lot of eggs will be blessed with joy. Uh, those who do not find any will still come to know personal happiness in the hearts. Yes, happiness finds each and every one of us. May you all treasure the joy that that brings, or whatever. And that's the festival. Um, okay. That's a little disappointing, honestly. It's not terrible, but I was hoping for more. I'm also apparently a local celebrity for some reason. Um, what do we want to do? I guess clear land. Even though I was like super tempted to fish more, clearing land does seem to make the most sense. We need to do it. We need to do the next mine eventually. I'm not gonna wanna do the mining until the land's clear because, I don't know, I'm me, I'm weird. Uh, sickle, hammer, and then water. I guess as our tools level up and we develop more stuff on our farm, less things will be popping up each day. But right now, it almost feels unreasonable to try and keep the farm clear every day. There's just, like, so much stuff that pops up every day between the grass and the trees and the rocks and, like, the puddles. But again, I can only imagine, like, as the farm gets more developed, those things will become more and more rare to actually find. So obviously they can't pop up wherever, you know, you have buildings or paths or whatever. We finished chopping this one. Oh, we actually found a spot with three. Let's go, dude. I wonder if, like, the next upgrade of the axe will give us an even bigger area that we can clear, too. Alright, I want to go to bed at a decent time, just so we don't have an energy penalty tomorrow. Let's start turning... all of this into... Oh, wait. Did I do the right one? I did the wrong one. And there's no way to cancel. Um, How can we make another one? What do we need? 20 logs do we have? We do. We have more than 20 logs. Give me 20 of these. Break this down. Craft us another lumber maker. 
put that bitch down right here. And then I guess the seasoning maker will go down here. And eventually we'll make another one of those as well. Start crafting on that. Snap. Um, make some more sugar. Is that everything? That's everything. We could eat food and stay up later, but then we'd have the penalty tomorrow, and that's just not worth it to me. So, bedtime. Both in-game and IRL, I think. It seems like a great time to call it for the night. It's getting late, IRL. I'm getting tired. I still have to shower and whatnot. And it's after 3 o'clock, which is when I usually get off anyways. So, as we go to bed in-game, thank you guys for coming and hanging out where we played a little bit of Pioneers All the Town. I do appreciate you all being here. I'll be back in a couple of days. Uh, Sunday, Tuesday, Monday, I don't know. One of those three days, <laughs> we'll be back. Probably going to end up playing more of this, to be honest. Um, but might end up playing some Dark Cloud as well. We'll see. One or the other. Until then, though, guys, have a wonderful night. And uh, as always, be kind to each other. Bye, y'all. Sorry, I have to check outside before I actually quit the game. I can't help it. I have to know what I'm getting into next time. Ooh, are these strawberries? They are. Oh, they don't regrow, though. Weird. And these still haven't grown. I think we might have accidentally planted them out of season. Because they were only supposed to take, like, three days to grow. That kind of sucks, but we did it to ourselves, I guess. So, whatever. Anyways, yeah, no. Have a good night, guys. Bye.